Now there's been a lot of behind the scenes work done leading up to tropical weather landfall to keep our bayous and other waterways from flooding. The Tesh Vermilion Freshwater District plays a huge role in that. That's right. And joining us now live is Donald Segrera, Executive Director of the Tesh Vermilion Freshwater District. Thanks for joining us, Donald. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And your agency took some steps recently to get ready for Hurricane Delta. Tell us about them. Actually, uh, preparation started uh, several days ago whenever the system was uh, first predicted uh, to be impacting our area. One of the uh, things that we uh, normally do is to start reducing the elevation of the uh, bayous th uh, that we uh, impact. Uh, we have a pump station in Crot Springs, and if we will happen to be uh, pumping, then we stop those pumps and let the system that we're pumping into uh, begin to drop. Uh, this uh, particular storm, we were not pumping because that system was being still being drained uh, from uh, the impacts from the uh, tropical storm uh, beta. But uh, we, what, what, one of the things that we did do before the uh, rainfall started, we, there was a structure on a canal that connects uh, the Vermilion River to Bayou Tesh, just south of Brobridge, it's called Ruth Canal. And uh, we closed that structure to prevent any water from Bayou Tesh coming into the Vermilion. Uh, additionally, we have a structure on the Lowerville Canal, just south of, south of Lowerville, and that canal connects Bayou Tesh with Lake Fossey Point. So we, normally that, con that structure is closed. So we opened that structure to allow drainage of Bayou Tesh uh, into uh, Lake uh, Fossey Point. Another thing that uh, the Corps of Engineers did a, a couple of days ago, they, uh, op they have a, uh, several structures that allow drainage of Bayou uh, Catabola into the floodway. And the, the Corps opened uh, one of those structures to begin lowering the level of Bayou Catabola. And uh, as of yesterday, they had lowered Bayou Catabola to the minimum elevation that uh, it's allowed to be lowered. So the system was at, at the um, it's, its most, most ideal uh, condition to start receiving rainfall. So all of these things are things that we have been working on over the last several days to be ready in our, to be at the optimum level for whenever the rainfall starts. Now, you had told one of our producers a little earlier that y'all had a lot of practice in 2020 for Hurricane Delta. So can you tell us a little bit about your work this year? Each time that we had one of these threats, uh, we went through this same procedure of, um, of letting, the, the whole uh, basis is to let Bayou Catabola go down to its lowest level. So this gives uh, more retention uh, in that area. And it's, it's the, the biggest benefit uh, of this uh, operation is to St. Landry Parish and to St. Martin Parish, because that's where Bayou uh, Catabola is located. And then the, uh, Bayou, Bayou Tesh, the upper part of Bayou Tesh is in St. Martin Parish. So they're really receiving the, bene the biggest benefit from this. Of course, the more water that can drain into the floodway before the rain starts, then this benefits uh, the whole area. Okay, so we have I know many there's practices certainly here. a lot of work and a lot of preparation before any kind of a storm like this. All right, well, Correct. Thank thanks. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with us. Stay safe. Thank you.